As some of you may know, I am in France. I am not in the US and it got me thinking. In the US, we have a majority, a good amount iPhones, but here in France, I noticed a whole lot less people using iPhones and a whole lot more people um, pretty much using Android. In fact, that's just how it works across most of the world. And so what I wanted to do was I wanted to take a look and I wanted to see the Microsoft launcher because obviously almost nobody uses the Microsoft launcher that I've seen. Most of them just use what's on say a Samsung device or a Huawei device or whatever it is they choose to use. So in this video, let's take a look at the Microsoft launcher, the one that's in beta. And also we're taking a look at this because in the Surface Duo we have Android 10, not Android 11 yet. And we have an older version of the Microsoft launcher optimized for dual screens obviously. But in this video, we're gonna take a look, in fact, at the Microsoft launcher here on my Galaxy Note 10 Plus in beta for single screen devices. So let's jump in. So here it is, here is the Microsoft launcher beta. This is not the normal Microsoft launcher. It is obviously has some extra features that are still being tested. Um, another reason why I wanted to take a look at this application is just because or this launcher on Android is just because uh, there has been some note that it hasn't really been heavily updated recently. I saw the latest update was August 19th, which is actually just a couple of days ago. But like in terms of major, major feature releases or anything like that, it hasn't actually had any really notable major features coming out with it. But going in, one of the notable features that I wanted to take a look at with it was the customizable icons. So obviously if you're familiar with Android, you know that a lot of launchers allow you to customize their icons. But for some reason, it seems like a lot of launchers that are the base launchers, they don't really let you do it too much. So this lets you do that. So for instance, if I wanna change, uh, let's say Microsoft to do to do that and then I just swipe over just by doing that, click that and it says edit icon. And then you can see, uh, choose a new icon. I can choose a system icon or a Microsoft launcher icon or I can open an icon pack. I'll click open an icon pack, I'll open up the Microsoft uh, launchers icon pack. You can obviously download uh, some new icons and let's say I wanna make it completely different. I can click that and you see Microsoft to do is now that little weird thing. If I hit back, you can see when I click into it, Microsoft to do has changed. You can see that I also, during testing, I was able to get OneNote to have its own icon just like that. So that's a, that's a cool thing that is just, you know, for those of you who actually like to customize your Android device, uh, it's an option for you in the Microsoft launcher. Um, and it is available obviously for Samsung, uh, the One UI launcher and a whole bunch of other launchers, but it's another highlight feature that Microsoft says that they also have in their launchers, the ability to customize their icons. Now, another thing here is the, what they call uh, daily wallpapers powered by Bing. Basically, it allows you to have fresh wallpapers built into the launcher powered by Bing daily. So on Microsoft being the search engine, obviously you see that they have uh, updated wallpapers just about every single time you turn on your computer. Uh, if you're using Bing for your computer's uh, wallpaper engine, so for this, you also get that too. You can obviously download the app as well and get the same feature, but this again is built into the launcher, no extra app needed. So if you press and hold, say this swan, or you just swipe in just like that, pinch in, uh, you can hit change wallpaper, and then you see live wallpaper, and then you see Bing. When you hit Bing, just like that, you'll see daily slideshow, use scroll effect on home screen, only download new images over Wi-Fi. So if you scroll through, these are a bunch of some of the wallpapers they have currently. Um, obviously, this is the most recent one right there, and I am on obviously on Wi-Fi because I am in France and I don't have cellular data anyway. So it will basically aggregate new wallpapers every single day, uh, fresh wallpapers that are high resolution, everything like that. So that's pretty solid. Another thing there is dark theme support or theming support as a whole. Um, you can either go to the settings of Microsoft Launcher or many things. I'll just go to Launcher Settings. If you go over to themes and launcher settings, you see some extra features there. And then when you scroll down some, uh, you see theme and you can choose between light, which is their light theme. If I back out, you can see light theme, how it looks. And when you click apps, it kind of looks weird to me, honestly. It looks like the dark theme is just much better to me. Um, and then if I want to go back, I can also go back there, pinch in and get to launcher settings and then go to themes, 
theme. You can choose dark. My current system theme is dark theme. Also, you can choose the opacity for various elements. So you can make things more clear. You can change the blur effect that's available for some elements. You can manually adjust everything just like that. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand without bumping into the camera, but and then you can apply the blur to all screens, which is another cool thing. Backing out of that, then you just got some extra, just little tweaking options with this. So another thing that Microsoft uh, talks about with this launcher is their, their ability to customize your app drawer. So by default, you swipe up from the middle of the screen, you get your app drawer. It does not actually look like this by default. It actually looks like this, and bear with me with using one hand to do that. Uh, display, it actually just looks like a vertical grid by default, which is this like amalgamation of just a ton of my apps on there. It's kind of hard to just see everything and digest every app. So what I had done was I just clicked on it and I went to the three dots in the corner. And then what I did was I went to display layout and I like alphabetical list because if you have a billion apps like I do, I can just pick an alphabetical list and I can just go down. Or if I want to jump to specific letters, I can do that. And so you can see different ways just like that to get to your apps. So another thing that Microsoft seems to uh, talk about is deep layout tweaking. So basically, like you saw, another all the ways to get to the settings of Microsoft Launcher, you click the settings app right there and they have different ways you can tweak your layouts and things like that. You can change the layout of your app drawer where you can drag things into folders. Uh, you can change the dock, which is those five icons or four icons at the bottom so that it has more options for you show background with the dock by default when you swipe up you don't show the background too much through the dock but you can actually if i do this and i just hit the microsoft launcher icon right there and then you can see if i go to the dock and then you can see show background so if i click that hit back oops if i hit back and now you can see that it is bleeding through to the background just like that it is uh it's it's a pretty uh feature you know pretty deep feature background and deep feature uh launcher so the next thing is it says feed similar to windows 11. so windows 11 as you know has a widget menu or widget feed and uh you can actually tweak the different elements in that feed um so just like in there, we have it in the Microsoft Launcher. I have edited it to my style. Uh, it says, do you want to see events and meetings and work? Sign in with your account now. I'll just leave that alone because I don't have events or anything like that to go to. It has Microsoft to do, which is under tasks right there. Uh, things, or AKA or study for cybersecurity exam. If I want to say I finished it, I can check it off and it's done and it'll be done in my Microsoft to do uh, list so that's pretty dope another thing there you have your frequently used apps so if you always use Google and things like that um, you can launch those apps right there and even show more apps screen time you can turn on screen time just to see how long you use the screen and then you got your Microsoft rewards where if you tap more uh, it brings in your Microsoft rewards which used to be called Bing rewards to get those points to get those free stuff from Microsoft um, another thing too here I wrote down uh, integration with uh not just to-do list but also outlook calendar microsoft rewards and recent documents all in one view so you can do all of that in one view if you just go back there's a lot more things you can edit this view you can add documents to it you can add recent activities to it you can even add more widgets to it so let's say i want to add i don't know let's say i want to add my amazon alexa widget to it says so can't add shortcut to widget card let's see if i want to add my i don't know uh, let's say I want to add Brave Search. Can I add Brave Search to it? Yes, I can. So you see Brave Search got added to it. If I want to search Brave, I can do that and so on. So that's pretty cool. So basically, it's kind of like a launcher within a launcher when I see this widget screen here uh, compared to Windows 11's where it's just like kind of advertising more of Microsoft services. But there's there's a lot more in here. You obviously get to see the news there, but obviously a lot of the time it's politics and things like that, which is not interesting to me. Um, obviously, I can tweak the news just like that, but it's a pretty feature filled uh, launcher. It's got if you just like using everything that Microsoft has to offer for uh, mobile for the most part and just desktop in one area. This is a pretty good launcher for you just because like you get all of your integrations with all the apps that you typically use. If you're one of those 2% that use Bing, I personally do not. Uh, you get Bing 
you know, already in it, especially if you have Samsung devices, you get OneNote and all that stuff like that. So you just be able to simply, and if you don't have them downloaded, they'll be there by default where you see here, and then you'll see the green download button next to their icon, for instance, for Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and stuff like that um, next to them if you want to download that. So one other thing though that I noticed with this Microsoft launcher, specifically in this app screen here, is just how I see Skype in here. It says it wants me to download Skype if I want to. Uh, clearly it has Teams and Skype, which means that, and I've noticed Skype is slowly getting depreciated in terms of what it's worth. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if once they finally update this application to like the true, like what they want it to be, the major update that they want, I have a feeling we're going to see Skype just not even appear here just because it's kind of how it seems like it's going. Maybe we'll get chat built in by Teams, um, chat powered by Teams, like how it is in Windows 11 on this launcher as well. Just to be feature, uh, you know, just to be one to one feature with the Windows 11 stuff. We'll get similar things here and maybe we'll even get some more rounded corners and things like that here. Who knows? But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. My question for this video, I guess for the next two days is, uh, do you use the Microsoft launcher instead of whatever the launcher is on Android? Because there are many on Android. Do you use the Microsoft launcher, whether it's beta or whether it's the public normal one? And if you do, why do you use it? I'm very curious to know in the comment section below. My name is Kwaku and uh, have you, hope you guys have a great day. Take care.